suppose I, I, in a way, I didn't have that much choice. So, you, coming from Brazil, the the world game, the soccer is the um, the biggest sport, and I, I love soccer. But um, all the kids at the time in Perth, they were all playing AFL football. So, so um, I, I thought, well, to make friends, you have to do what they do. You play at lunchtime, etc. And I think football was a vehicle that which helped me integrate into society. You can all share in that one passion which is football and it brings people together. I was born in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil to a Brazilian mother and a Congolese father. I uh, moved to Australia when I was three years old to here, here in Victoria but I grew up in Perth in Western Australia so I've been at the Collingwood Football Club for for four years now and this is my fifth year so um, cert certainly settled in and really do love playing here for, at Collingwood. Of course uh, when you get a bit older you start to notice that at home you, you do different things to what you, your friends do at school and, and um, just, just little things like that. You might eat different foods or you know, your mother might speak with an accent and people find it hard to understand her. All of, that, all of those little things that you start to notice at a young age and then I suppose when you get a bit older, when you get into well and truly into primary school, that's when you start to notice, when I started to notice certainly, that I was from a culturally diverse background and, and I was actually discriminated against unfortunately, but that's something which has certainly evolved over time. By participating in uh, such a popular Australian pastime as sport and in our case Australian football, uh, it, it helps people to integrate, it helps, um, uh, helps their res the, the resettlement process for a lot of people from you know, newly arrived communities. So it's a wonderful vehicle as an entree into Australian culture. It was really tough at times, I can remember an under 10s, um, at the under 10s game in Perth where, where I played for a team called Rossmoyne. And, um, we were playing, I, I was, I was a, a good player then and I used to stand out a bit obviously the way I look and because I had a bit more ability than the other kids and um, what, something that once happened in a game was some kids were calling me all the, all the racist names under the sun and I can clearly remember just, uh, just not wanting to play football again. I stormed off the field, made a bit, big scene and I said I'll never play football again but it, was, it wasn't until um, my stepfather spoke to me, my father, I call him my father. It wasn't until my dad spoke to me and um, <coughs> he, he spoke to me about some different ways to, to counter that and, and um, it was really a positive message and, and that, that's what that, I, reckon, I can think that was the point where I realised that no matter what people say they can't stop you from achieving. so much more than just a game, it's, like you're here in Melbourne, it's the heartbeat of the city, it's um, such, a, such a great game, the game itself is action packed and just the contest, the one on one, just I love that element to it but also love how much it means to other people. I love how it's such a family feeling once you're involved in the club, it, it's like a, it's, it, it's like a family, everyone everyone looks after you and everyone just wants to succeed and work to that, the same end result. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I really, I'm so grateful to, to be playing professional football. Football has certainly given me a lot of opportunities. Um, being at a club like Collingwood, you, you meet so many people that are, are passionate about the club and are willing to, to help you in, in any way. And it's not that you get spoon fed, but if you seek, if you want to achieve anything, if you want to learn about something, it might be if you want to be a good businessman, or you want you want to you want to want to learn different different uh, go down a different career path. There's always someone that in in the organisation that has done it before, so you can go out and seek answers and advice, and you'll always get it. And, I think that's the, that's the great thing about it. Not only the Collingwood Football Club, but living in Australia itself. What The reason why Australia, so many people want to come to Australia is because if you want to make something of your life, you can. You can, you can you've got the opportunity, you have freedom, and that's, that's the beauty of it. And I think AFL 
the AFL encompasses all the Australian values of the fair go and you know mateship and um, so I'm, I'm just so grateful to be part of such a great organisation, the AFL and if you more specifically Collingwood. Well, some of the biggest barriers are, um, and we've heard, heard it before, I mentioned uh, transport, uh, costs, unfamiliarity with the sports, sometimes a fear of racism, which is very disappoint, disappointing, um, but they're some of the, the main ones. Well, there might be some challenges, um, however, so much, everyone's so much more tolerable of each other and they, 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 there's the, the understanding for different cultures and um, yeah, just the overall tolerance is, is um, cert certainly something which didn't exist as much as what it does today. The parents are very important, particularly for the younger children, because the parents largely are the decision makers. So for us it's uh, an integral part of our program to communicate with the parents at every opportunity and to really convey that Australian football is, is an outstanding way for their children to uh, settle into Australia, uh, be a happier person because they have that more all-round experience and uh, yeah, the parents are very important in that process. What you can do is you can try and understand their culture and that just from there, from when you, when you educate yourself in a way, you, you can then share it with the, uh, the rest of the team, the people or people that don't come from culturally diverse backgrounds. And that's how the whole harmony process works and, and starts. It's from someone to stand up, take someone to stand up and say, right, we want to include these people that are, aren't involved. But what we have to do first is rather than sit back and say, well, they don't, they don't share or they don't, they don't try and get involved. Well, you have to be the one that stands up and says, right, we're going to get you involved and we're not going to change who you are, but we're going to, we're going to make who you are part of what the greater picture is. The tips that I would give to coaches and to club committees is to um, get to know the young people that are wanting to join their club and to actually uh, mirror their community so they can see themselves in the actual club. And what, that might be as simple as having um, your functions that are sensitive to different cultural tra traditions. So for any people out there that are looking to um, for some advice or some assistance or some resources, we're available and we, you can find us quite easily through the AFL website, it's afl.com and um, just uh, look, look under the multicultural section and we've got a number of resources there that will be very useful. An AFL that is accessible to everyone and anyone from refugees that are living in the, uh, in the, in the community and in the public housing and the flats. There's programs being run there, there's programs everywhere, almost every school is being in Victoria is being exposed to AFL and AFL players first hand. So. So the, the challenges are limited, you, you can, if you want to be a part of a play football you can and that's the beauty of it.